Hello everybody out there. This is Mr. Freeman with our online at home teaching. Um, you'll see behind me I have a beautiful mural that was actually unfinished but we, uh, my wife and I got creative this week and started doing a mural in our bedroom and this is the uh, not end result but almost end result. Um, so enjoy that while I show you this. We're going to be talking today about 3D shapes, more uh, specifically perspective. Um, I know I went over this a lot um, with fourth graders recently. Uh, fifth grade lessons were coming up soon, so here we go. Um, fifth graders, you can add a little bit more complicated shapes to this, but uh, here we go, 3D shapes. Uh, what we do is we always start with a horizon line. Now remember the horizon line separates the sky from the land, but in this case there's no landscape, so just a, a little line down the middle of our page. Um, we're going to do that, we're going to show a vanishing point, and then we're going to make a floating shape or two or three actually. Uh, showing how they would work with uh, perspective being going above or below the horizon line. Sorry about that. This is my really big oversized ruler. Almost bigger than a yardstick. It's really big. Um, anyway, I use this a lot for painting. As you can see, a lot of paint on there. But right now I'm using it to show this. Now, if you don't have a ruler, especially one this big, um, if you don't have a ruler at home, anything with a straight edge will work. The edge of a book uh, is perfect. So uh, go ahead and you can find something to use. I would recommend using a ruler or something straight because it is very specific as far as straight lines go. Uh, it's very accurate, but uh, it's not that hard. Here we go. So we start with a horizon line going down the middle of our page. And then a vanishing point. Vanishing point is the point anywhere on the horizon line. So I'm going to put it right in the middle, make it really noticeable. Not too big, but so you can see it. Now the next thing we're going to do is draw a shape. I'm going to start simple with just a square. So I'm going to put it above and to the left of my vanishing point. So I'm going to draw a square. And uh, you know, it's okay. Now, this is where it gets a little complicated. Fourth graders, you'll remember this part. Um, every corner, we get a line going toward the vanishing point. That's very important. You need every line from each corner that's facing the vanishing point going toward the vanishing point. So this is what I mean. So, you know, this, this ruler is really, really big and heavy. So I'm going to use this one. A little easier. Uh, right now, we're taking our corners and we're making a line from each corner to our vanishing point. So here's... Yeah, sorry about that. Here's one. See, that was easy, going from that corner to that point. Now this makes an angle, but every angle is going to change now because every corner is coming from a different length, a different spot on the page. So let's do this next one. This is also going toward our vanishing point, coming from the corner. And boom, like that. So it meets the vanishing point, but coming from a different angle. Third angle comes down like this from the top corner and just that easy. Now I have a, I have a long uh, shape, 3D shape. Now this is where you could do another step, obviously not with a, with a Sharpie, with a pencil, though you will take these two edges and fourth graders, you can kind of stop there. If you, but if you want to proceed, uh, this is a little bit more advanced. Fifth graders, I want you to do this part. You see how the square has a vertical line and a horizontal line? Now, you don't worry about anything that's not facing the vanishing point. Don't, don't worry about that at all. Um, but to make a floating shape, we're going to take this vertical line and this horizontal line that make the bottom right side of our square. Square. I kind of squared it. Um, we're going to take this and we're going to make a line parallel to this bottom line and then we're going to take it again connected to the parallel line we just drew and draw a parallel line going the other way. So now you have a cube. Now you can, if you're using a pencil, which I recommend, you can now erase all of this. This is me erasing. Then you'll have a floating cube in the sky. Very cool, huh? Let's show you one more, just so you know that uh, wherever you put your shape, 
determines where your, your orthogonal or converging lines go. These are the converging lines, the ones that go toward the vanishing point. Let's do one below. Let's do one, let's do a square again. You can draw these squares freehand, or you can use a ruler to draw them. It doesn't matter. Um, so now we're going to go up toward our vanishing point. Remember, this is still the vanishing point right here. This is very important vanishing point. I'm going to write it with my chicken scratch. Vanishing point. Um, very important. Vanishing point is the most important thing on the page because every line goes toward it. Everybody wants to meet at the vanishing point. That's the place where everyone, all the lines converge, and everyone has a good time at the vanishing point. So here we go. We're going to go up now. Instead of going down to our vanishing point because we're below the horizon line, we're now going, our vanishing, our converging lines are going to go up toward the vanishing point. So again, this top, this bottom right of the square, don't even worry about it. It's not necessary. It's not going to come in play. But these three corners on the left side will. So let's start with the bottom one. We're going to go up toward the vanishing point, kind of like that. And then if you remember, we went to the second middle corner now. Middle corner goes up right here toward the vanishing point. Put a little off here. And the third one goes also from the corner to the vanishing point. Now, if it's not perfect, don't stress too much. That's what it basically should look like. Again, don't worry if it's not perfect. We're just trying to get you to learn the lesson and understand perspective. Um, you can use other shapes now. Um, I don't want to get too into it. I don't want to make this, this video too long. But if you're doing like a more complicated shape, like a star, which excuse the uh, messed up star here, you'll have more corners to deal with. So now I'm just going to do this really fast. You can slow it down. You can rewind. You can do whatever you want. Um, and mind you, I'm going to send you, attached to this is going to be a PDF of the different steps, almost like a PowerPoint presentation. Uh, so we would go from every corner that's facing the vanishing point and make our lines, every corner, every corner, we'll go up toward the vanishing point. Even the ones that are kind of behind. We'll go up toward the vanishing point. And that's pretty much it. So that's what that shape would look like. You can see how it can get as complicated as that, but really it's not that complicated. Um, if you just focus and make sure that every corner that's facing the vanishing point gets a converging line going toward the vanishing point, such as one, two, three, one, two, three. And again, you can cap off this going straight parallel to the horizontal line on the cube, and then straight down, and then you can erase all this stuff. So that is our lesson for today. Uh, next week we'll have a new lesson. I want you to take the time, take a piece of paper. If you don't have any paper, use the back of an envelope. Use whatever you want to make. You can do as many shapes as your piece of paper will fit. Have fun with it. Um, if you can't find paper, um, there are resources for that, and uh, but I'm sure someone can find at least something to draw on. Uh, email me if you have any questions about this. Um, Howard.freeman at somersetnv.org. And hopefully we'll be able to get through this, and hopefully everyone's staying safe and healthy and washing those hands and making sure we're not touching things outside and bringing them in the house and touching our friends and touching our faces. All that stuff. You've heard all that stuff. So don't worry about any of that anymore. So anyway, that's me, Mr. Freeman, signing off. Um, everyone, be safe. Have a great day. Bye.